Play Grounded. Item Number SCP-1740 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures Warning signs are to be placed outside of SCP-1740, claiming it as structurally unstable. SCP-1740 is to be surrounded by a 4 meter high wall to prevent the viewing of SCP-1740-1. Any instance of SCP-1740-1 found attempting to exit SCP-1740 may be subdued through rope nets. Security personnel are to be stationed in nearby homes at blank street and are to administer Class C amnestics to any trespassing civilians. Description SCP-1740 is a public playground in blank. It contains standard recreational equipment such as slides, ladders, mountable spring animals, and a swing set. Standard materials such as metal and plastic are present, though no, no anomalous properties surround the composition of any of the equipment in SCP-1740. SCP-1740's anomalous properties originate from its development of SCP-1740-1. A typical instance of SCP-1740-1 is an animate plastic mold of an animal mounted upon a metal spring. There are currently nine instances of SCP-1740-1 recorded to inhabit SCP-1740. Autonomous behavior will only occur with instances of SCP-1740-1 if a human adolescent of less than 13 years in age comes within one meter of SCP-1740. Upon nearing SCP-1740, two to three instances of SCP-1740-1 will immediately activate and bounce. Footnote: Average speed recorded is 1.2 km per hour. Toward the adolescent, hereby referred to as the subject, and will attempt to prevent them from leaving SCP-1740. It will accomplish this through repeatedly slamming into the subject. If the subject manages to avoid capture, SCP-1740-1 instances will per pursue them as far as 20 meters before returning to SCP-1740. If the subject is compliant, SCP instances of SCP-1740-1 will escort the subject underneath SCP-1740. Footnote. As in, below the platforms of SCP-1740, which are used to reach the slides and other equipment and will begin to patrol the perimeter. Subjects will be imprisoned for an indefinite amount of time, as SCP-1740-1 instances display no fatigue or need for nourishment. Subjects will also be provided with water and meals by SCP-1740-1, though they are currently provided through unknown means. Instances of SCP-1740-1 appear to lack peripheral vision, making escape significantly easier for most subjects. However, subjects caught escaping will be forcibly ex escorted by at least four instances of, instances of SCP-1740-1 to what appears to be a miniature guillotine incorporated into the swing set of SCP-1740. Approximately one centimeter portion of the subject's toe or finger will be sliced off as a repercussion. Medical supplies such as bandages are then provided by instances of SCP-1740-1. SCP-1740-A is a set of three wooden benches situated four meters from SCP-1740. Each bench is covered in green paint and show average wear and damage consistent to being outdoors. SCP-1740-A's anomalous properties manifest whenever a human with a biological child sits on a bench. Any, under, any other individual who does not meet these qualifications will not activate SCP-1740-A. After sitting on SCP-1740-A, a clear viscous liquid will immediately enclose the subject from beneath the area in which they sit. 
When enclosed by this substance, the subject will immediately enter a vegetative state and will not respond to external stimuli. The liquid contains several enzymes and electrolytes, though these display abnormalities in redacted, making the identification of a terrestrial species impossible at this time. The only known means of removing this substance from the subject is physical contact with the subject's biological child, which will cause the liquid to disperse and rapidly evaporate. The affected subject will not remember being incapacitated, and will react with confusion and denial if questioned. Addendum 1740-B-2 A bronze plaque was found welded to the side of one playground structure. The following is the inscription of the plaque. Light Carrier Enterprises, Prison Break Play We here at Light Courier Enterprises are concerned for your children's emotional health, moral values, and physical fitness. To prepare your child for an event such as capturination, slavery, and spaghettification, we have designed a simplistic simulation to stimulate their minds and sagacity. While you are held in the widely known stasis goo, your children will be completely unable to seek advice from other sources, motivating them to become a singular entity. We hope that this may provide a stronger generation of children, a generation that can stand up to the fear together. Enjoy. You are currently in possession of the Mark VI prison. Consult your local redacted to see what your child will need the most. Intended for uses on children 3 to 13 years of age. Many injuries caused by bouncy guards are purely accidental. Light Courier Enterprises hold no responsibilities for side effects from Stasis Gel, as it is not the original creator. Light Courier Enterprises thanks you for your assistance in preparing the future. Addendum 1740-LC For original documentation on group of interest to Light Courier Enterprises, see SCP-2395. Further information can be obtained from... SCP-1920, SCP-1940, and SCP-2940.